Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 20 Is This Player Worth It slash player review type video. As you can see today on the screen, we have gone ahead and got ourselves a player moments, um, Leroy Sane. The car genuinely does look incredible. It's four squads to go ahead and complete it. We're going to be talking about how much the SBC is going to go ahead and cost to complete and take a look at the overall card itself and see whether it is worth completing. But if you are new to my channel, make sure you do go ahead, hit the subscribe button and also turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video on my channel I do upload every single day pretty much at 6 o'clock when new SBCs do come out I do review a lot of cars I've got all sorts of videos on my channel so definitely give my channel a chance make sure to check it out I'm sure it will help you out but yeah Without further ado, we will jump into today's video, but if it does go on to help you out, make sure you do drop a like on the video, that would be much appreciated. If we can get to 20 likes on this video, that would be amazing. We're almost at 3.4k subscribers now, so definitely make sure you do subscribe, that would be much appreciated. But without further ado, we will jump into today's video. So, as you can see on the screen, 91 rated, play the moments, Leroy Sane. Probably one of the best SBCs we have got throughout the whole of... Um, the headliners promo so far obviously this player moments Kenny Lala is also up there as well but this Leroy Sane looks incredible he's got 99 pace obviously 99 sprint speed with 96 acceleration he's gonna be one of the quickest cards on this game main issue on the card starting off obviously he's got three star weak foot which is always an issue the fact that obviously he'll be on his left foot and if you get through on goal with his right, you're going to have a lot of issues simply because obviously three star weak foot is always an issue. Obviously it's not two star so it could be worse but you're going to be obviously limited what you can do with the car. So if you do get through on goal, I recommend try and get onto his left foot. Keep in mind when you are completing it, this is a major issue on this card. But yeah, he's got 79 physical on the card itself with 72 jumping, 88 stamina, 79 strength and 68 aggression overall physical stats very very solid in my opinion the fact that he's got 88 stamina very very good because he's got 99 pace so he'll pretty much keep running all game and he won't really tire out because his 88 stamina is pretty high and then in the defending stats I'm not going to read them all out but he's got 83 head in accuracy which is very very solid very very good the fact that in the air he is quite tall obviously he's 6 foot and he should win a lot of headers in the air he's got 83 head in accuracy as well so like I say very very solid Keep Keep in mind, if you're playing the ball down the wing to him, he can win headers in the air. You could even play this card at striker, in my opinion, and he could be an incredible striker. I do recommend to play him on the left attacking mid in a 4-2-3-1, or for example, 4 triple 2 play him left attacking mid. If not, you could always play him in middle cam or up front in the 4-2-3-1. That could also work as well. He is high medium, so he could make a very good striker and a very good centre attacking mid, so you could play him either. Doesn't really matter, in my opinion, but he's got 92 dribbles on the card itself with 92 agility 85 balance 86 reactions 90 ball control 94 dribbling and 85 composure so overall dribbling stats very very solid very good on the ball great balance got the ball control got the dribbling he kind of has everything that you do need from the card itself but he's got 87 passing on the card with 90 vision and 91 crossing and 93 kick accuracy 88 short pass 70 long pass and 91 curve so obviously vision crossing very very solid he can also take three kicks for you as well he will be able to run down the line he's very very quick and put a great ball into the box because his crossing is very high but keep in mind that long pass are pretty low i'm surprised at that obviously being a winger like himself you would expect his long pass to be a lot higher but again, I don't think it should be too much of an issue. He's got a decent short pass. He's got a decent pass itself. But you've got 89 shot on the card itself with 92 attack positioning, 88 finishing, 95 shot power, 85 long shots, 93 volleys, and 78 penalties. And then finally, obviously, he's got the 99 pace with 96 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. He is left-footed, three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Always great to have a player that can obviously use his feet. And this card brings exactly that. Um, but taking a look at how much the SPC will cost to complete here, you've got an 84 rated squad here with an inform, so an 84 rated squad usually with an inform probably should cost you around the 80k mark, I'm pretty sure, an 84 rated squad isn't too expensive, if you've already got an inform in your club, then obviously it, it, you will be at an advantage to most people, so for example I could throw his Paredes in and then build the squad from here, you're going to need a minimum of one German player and 75 chemistry overall, if you want to see a full team, make sure you check the link 
link in the description. I'll have a link to Footbin. If not, just type in Footbin and the cheapest solutions will be there. It always is the very the best place to go, obviously, for cheapest solutions. Um, but yeah, this SPC here, probably about 80k, I'd say. Plus this one here, an 85 rated squad with one City player. So literally, any City player that you've got in your club, I'm not sure if I do have a City player. If I do, we will see. But let's say like Laporte, if you've got someone like that, throw him into the squad. So I actually don't have a City player. But any City player that you do have, throw him in. And then you just need an 85 rated squad around it. It's no inform included. So I'll probably say another 80k on this one. That's about 160k overall. Then you've got yourself an 86 rated squad you're going to need with one Premier League player, no inform again. I'm pretty sure this is where it ranges up to about 140k for this one. It gets fairly expensive. So let's say overall about... You're up to about 250k so far, I would say, around that mark between these three SPCs. And then you've got an 87 rated squad, which is always very, very expensive. I'll probably say you're looking at about 350 to 400k for this Leroy Sane card. Let me know in the comment section down below, do you think this SPC is worth it? In my opinion, I can see why people would say it isn't worth it. I can also see why people would say definitely this card is worth it. But yeah, definitely go ahead, let me know, do you think this card's worth it? In the comment section down below, if you have completed it who did you get in return from the packs you do get a mega pack a rare election pack and a prime election players pack and then a rare mixed players pack so the pack rewards to be honest i'd expect to be a little bit better for what you are actually completing but again it could be worse but let me know if you did open any of the packs and you did complete this spc who did you manage to get from the packs and if you've played any games with him how how is he performing for you how is he so far definitely go ahead and let me know we have also got a headliners challenge spc here that you do get a 50k pack for it's only a 75 rated squad that you do need so definitely go ahead let me know if you did complete this who did you end up going ahead and getting but as you can see here this is the Leroy Sane card I really really hope you did enjoy today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to drop it a like that'll be much appreciated also consider subscribing we're trying to get to 3.4k subscribers now follow me over on Instagram at McCartneyYT we did manage to hit 30k yesterday thank you all so so much for the support over there but like I said, if you enjoyed today's video, drop it a like, subscribe if you are new. But that has been that, and peace out.